Winners don't lose. All right, guys, welcome back to Never Stop Shooting. We're going to finish off this conversation here with Cherry Bomb. My name is Paul. This is Shadowrun Returns. Ah, sounds like you got big plans for yourself. Her pretty eyes soften. Yeah, I do. Can't stay here forever. You got a look that says you're not here for entertainment. You a batch? I think you know the answer to that. Mm-hmm, I do. You're independent. We're trained to spot a bronze the minute they walk in here. Something I can help you with. Well, I got a few questions. I like this. I'm endearing myself to her without resorting to, like, flirting and stuff like this. Ah! Uh, tell me about Sam Watts. Regular customer with a regular pain in the butt for as long as I've been here. Talked a big game, but he was always broke. As soon as he got any money in his pocket, it went straight to his head. Chips, drugs, or booze. Coyote had a soft spot for him, though. That was Coyote's shift. Oh, Coyote is a worker. I didn't know that. Okay. Ah. Uh, uh, who was that you were talking to? Old boyfriend, used to work here, built work for the Universal Brotherhood, and that you know, was that. Meeting, made new friends, moved in with them. I was happy for him until he started coming around trying to recruit me. I don't need that trek. Who runs this place? I want to talk to them. Miss Kabata, right, of course. Uh, can't miss her. Whiz. Nail sweat. Talk to you later. Uh, yeah, they've got their own lingo and everything. I, I was talking a little bit about the, uh, the different history and all that. Uh, Lone Star, concerned for public safety. So that's something about racism I thought up there. Eric Mersman. Come on, Eric, talk to me. Yeah, he looks a lot smaller in his picture. Hey, guy, I got some extra outfits to try to unload. You want first dibs? I'll take a look, yeah. Yeah, let's go with that. Give me a little extra willpower. Jin Parks. The Asian woman's expression reads, open for business, but her demeanor reads, dealer rather than companion. She has a jack on her neck, a gun on her hip, and a chip on her shoulder. She eyes you with a sneer. You look like you could use some firepower, something simple. I got guns so smart they practically fire themselves. You looking for tech? Got some of that too, if that's the way you roll. Show me what you got. What you got? Perfect. Okay, but, I mean, can I not talk to her? Oh, this is Jin Smart. This isn't... Ah... Uh... Mr. Kalwaki. Mr. Clue. Clue. VIP section, Tower of Troll Muscle, wrapped in an impossibly tailored suit. Uh, possibly good jeans, expensive aftermarket cosmetics work. Troll's gleaming horns perfectly frame his face, and his polished tusks and goatee accentuate a set of a lantern jaw. Welcome. Please behave yourself. Must be the union's hired muscle. Must I? Only if you insist. You have business here? Looking into the death of Sam Watts. Real shame what happened to him. Uh, there's a sharpness in Clue's eyes. The look of a man who has seen much and earned wisdom at a young age. In your role here, I suppose you often escorted Sam to the door. Yes, albeit gently. Sam was a drunk, but he wasn't usually a violent one. Usually? What about the night he died? He's a bit agitated. Didn't catch the specifics. Might have been over a woman. Thought I was going to have to show him out, but I had to deal with a couple rival co uh, go gangers posturing for one of the working girls upstairs. Jake helped Sam out instead. Appreciate you talking with me. Happy to help. All right. Johnny Clean. Hello, Johnny Clean. Dressed like a janitor, but wearing unusually clean overalls. He's... Tall, rail thin, just has a cunning look in his eyes as he's more than a maintenance man. You knew? Yeah, first time, just getting a look at the place. Just sweeping up a bit. Oh, yeah, he's got a little earpiece. I missed that. So obviously he's security. He's not, uh, not doing that at all, eh? Hey, Noog. Covered in glowing magical talisman and fetishes, the troll does not seem fully of this world. He mumbles to himself constantly, apparently participating in several conversations at once, but with entities you can neither see nor hear. Mutter, I told you it's not like that at all. Bring proof and you shall have it. I am honored, your majesty. So this guy's a shaman. That was why I, that was why I said to use mustard instead of ketchup. Forgive me, Gene. I was a fool. Puts the others... Uh, yeah, I'd like to view your wares. He might have some magic on. He certainly does. Yeah, I should take heal. And flamethrower never hurts. But I probably don't have room for it. Yeah, I don't have room for it. Oh, I do have room for it. Hmm... I want to save a little bit of cash just in case I have to throw some around. Miss Kubota. 
So you better watch as you cross the room sizing you up as you approach. As you get closer, you can see that she's of mixed race, African and Japanese. Ah, cool. Her demeanor says, this is my house. Mess with it at your peril. But her eyes twinkle with a playful light when she speaks. Gonbanwa, good evening. My, but aren't you the pretty elf? Are you enjoying the seamstress's union? There should be plenty for a man like you to enjoy. Or is this business? I have topics to discuss. Ah, so guy, and why should I help you? I'm hunting the Ripper. Keep your voice down when you mention the Ripper, Ome. He's good for business. Besides, I'm worried about my girl, Coyote. She's missing, and I'm worried she may end up as his next victim. None of these seem particularly important, but did you see Sam? He was here, quite inebriated, as he often was. Coyote was working bar that night, and she informed me that Sam was getting rowdy and belligerent with other customers. When I requested he leave, he refused. My bouncer, Mr. Clue, was off dealing with another issue, so I requested that Jake escort Sam out the back door to the alley. That was the last I saw of either of them. How well do you know Sam? Oh, well, drugs, chip, alcohol didn't matter to Sam as long as he was bent. He's always looking for his next fix. He clung to the place like it was his lifeline. We treated him like a family. I was tr even if none of us truly liked him, except Coyote. Why the seamstress's union? During the gold rush years, there was a census, and the politicians just wanted to have as high a number as possible to gain power and revenue. To bolster the numbers, they decided to include all the working girls, of which there were many, to the roles. However, given the times, they could not list the girls' true occupation, so they entered them all as seamstresses. When a girl accumulated enough money to open her own place of business, she named it the Seamstresses Union, so potential workers could know that they could be treated fairly there, and thus a rich tradition was born. You're a former seamstress? No. Perhaps when we know each other more, I will reveal more about myself. For now, enjoy the union. I watched a really interesting, um... Not seen her in two days, yeah. I watched a really interesting, uh, Adam Ruins Everything about the Old West. And, uh, in it they talked about the way that, uh, seamstresses, shall we say, uh, helped create the West as we know it. Because before then, people would just go and it was all work camps and stuff. But... The uh, the seamstresses were able to actually set up shops, and around them, communities would would begin to build, and you know most of the money would come through them because they were the ones that all the men wanted to see. You know, they had clothes to be tailored, shall we say, and um, and so they ended up holding a lot of the money, spending a lot of the money on things like education and you know buildings and shops and all this sort of stuff. And so you know we have them to thank for. Uh, the way that the West turned out in a lot of ways. Ah, she's a smart woman. I feel what I fear for her. I'm sure she can take care of herself. Perhaps. All the same, I wish I could see her. She's like a daughter to me. Her room is upstairs if you're looking for her. I invite you to invite, examine it. You may uncover her whereabouts. I would normally not betray her privacy this way, but she's missed two shifts now. And cannot be reached on her calm. It's unlike her. If something has happened, I will not have inaction on my conscience. Here is the key. Ah, oh, very nice. Okay. We are heading upstairs. We're going to check out her room and see if we can't figure something out about what is going on, about what's happened with her. Okay, let's just take a look here. This is looking like uh, looking like the right place. Okay, a bunch of disheveled stuff. Oh, okay, I, I thought it was just like a mess, like somebody had gone through all of her stuff really fast, but nope. Apparently that's just how she keeps her clothes. Oh yeah, no dresser or nothing there. Eh? Stand a litter with action movies and cigarette butts. Frame painted the Chicago skyline done in stylized silhouettes. Oh, I love silhouettes. Silhouettes are the best. It's, it's, it's the best style of art in my opinion. It's, it looks the coolest if it's something simple. Ah, oh, let's take a look at the receipt. Browning Max Power Pistol for Jim Park downstairs. I'm not saying how big guns got on Hot Woman Turner on. Diary excerpt. I came back from my shift to find four, pa four Paco's goons sleeping on our apartment floor. It's getting fragging ridiculous. I want to be with him, but the re with the real Paco, but this cutter dreck keeps messing everything up. I love him, but he's totally different with his gang. I want to make my cash, baby. He always says. 
trying to tell him he doesn't need the cash. I can support us both with what I make at the seamstress's union, but he still goes on these runs with these bozos all over my floor. I feel like he's just seeing how far he can push me before I kick him out. I try to be patient, but why does he have to be? Why does it have to be all one way? Different page, second paper. Oh, boom. Let's just say that Paco should stick to guns and motorcycles and leave the poetry to others. Sometimes it seems like Paco reads my mind on my diary. Maybe he does the latter. I wouldn't be surprised. Hi, Paco. Ever since last week, he hasn't mentioned the cutters once. He leaves the apartments without a scene in a few hours, babe, and returns later without comment. I don't know if he's going to help us or avoid this subject and conversation completely, but I have felt better without a constant arguing about it. Take a look at the picture. The picture shows a young girl with caramel skin and dark brown hair. She has a snake wrapped around her arm, yet she's smiling. The back of the photograph has shadow scrawled on it. The receipt. Cash on delivery receipt for a special order. Five pounds of zebra meat from Maury's Meat Emporium located near Pike Place Market. Hmm. Ah, receipt for a wall safe installed near the bathroom door. 342-436. Feels weird to me saying coyote. Oh, okay. I thought I thought all of this was in the stash. I was like, what? But yeah. And let's take a look at her computer. Okay. It's not Paco. Shadow. Shadow was in reference to the snake. Yes! I was going to say it's not Shadow because that's caramel colored, uh, caramel skin person's name, but no! Shadow's a snake! Favorite musical act. The Shadows? Maybe that's what Shadow was named after? Answer stored. Oh, shoot. Maybe that's not right. Uh, must be Chicago. Ah, got it. Just took a couple tries. I, I, I was getting the second question wrong. Whatever that was. Is that the pet's name? No. Hmm. Anyway. Doesn't matter. Three days. Met with Delilah about the gig. Met Paco for a date at Pike Place Market. Due in 30 minutes. Contacts. Exactly one entry. Someone in Paco. No comm link number. Doesn't seem like a fairly useful link. Okay. Access history. Quick scan of the recent searches shows that Coyote has been reading a great deal about hellhounds. Really? It also su suggests that the casual interest of vintage action figures. More than a casual interest. Hmm. Asking about hellhounds. That's interesting. Uh, hellhounds. Humans were not the only ones affected by the um, by the occurrence, by the by the big change and all that. Some dogs also were affected by it and became what are now considered to be hellhounds. Um. Anyways, I think we're gonna call it there, guys. Make sure to uh, like and subscribe. And until we see you next time, be excellent to one another.